generalizations. These elements were heard in the previous set of examples. The first element is the race of Lydian form found in melodic lines. An example of this is found in the E major bazooka of 6 number 3. Second, 
The same Mr. Pichon is reported in his letter to have played a piece called Jude, which translates as a little Jew. As we will learn later, this title refers to the A minor mazurka of 17 number 4. The third, Mr. Dziewanowski is a resident of Chapar. Translation of example 4.1 as follows. Mr. Pichon played a piece called Little Jew, whereupon Mr. Dziewanowski asked an unnamed Jewish musician of the village his opinion of the music. After carefully listening, the musician said that if Mr. Pichon had wanted to play at a Jewish wedding in the village, he could have earned at least 10 talents. This opinion encouraged Mr. Pichon to further practice and compose so that he would be ready for future opportunities of this kind. Then, on the 31st of August, Chopin wrote about a meeting with a village girl who sang a mazur for him. While traveling through the village of Nieshaw, Mr. Pichon heard a girl singing. Since she was too far away for him to hear the song clearly, he passed a few times around the fence on which she was sitting. Full of curiosity, he asked her to repeat the song for him. She refused at first, but after a few moments, started singing a beautiful mazur. Finally, in a much later communication, dated the 12th of October, 1830, Chopin wrote his friend Titus Wojciechowski about the folk element in his fantasia on Polish airs of the 13. In order to understand this letter, Please note that the Fantasia on Polish Airs, of 13, bears the alternative title, The Moon That Set. Also note that Chopin referred to its finale correctly as a mazur, although it was incorrectly titled Kujawiak in the published score. After Miss Gładkowska, had been escorted from the stage, we began to play the potpourri on the song The Moon That Set. This time, I was all right, and the orchestra was all right, and even the crowd understood. This time, the last mazurka drew big applause, after which I was called up. No one hissed, I had, I, and I had to bow four times. This biographical evidence is further supported by a comparison of Oscar Kohlberg's works on transcription with thematic materials in Chopin's Mazurus. Oscar Kohlberg, a composer and ethnomusicologist, lived from 1814 to 1890. From 1823 to 1830, the Chopin and Kohlberg families were named in Warsaw. Both Chopin and Kolben attended the same high school, studied with the same piano teacher, Josef Elsner. Kolben is best known for his compilation of traditional Polish folk melodies titled Pieśni Ludu, which translates Songs of the People. Chopin was indeed familiar with his collection, as is indicated in a letter to his family written in 1847. He respected, respected Colbert's intentions, though had some reservations about details of his organization. Let us explore these comparisons further. We begin with the source material of the A minor mazurka of 17 number 4. Songs of People, 
Number one, seven. Surface features of the music 
to both of the folk dances we have discussed. Take for instance measures 41 to 60 of the B-flat major mazurka of the 70 number 1. This referred to 6.1 example on the hand. These measures work as a bridge from the first or A section to the middle or B section of the piece. I believe that the, that the pianist's rhythmic interpretation of the bridge is a clue to interpretation of the entire B section. Chopin gives us a choice here, since he writes legato and staccato articulations at the same time. Pianists call such articulation a portamento touch. More legato touch hints that the B section will be played as a cuyale. More staccato touch suggests an overt. The pianist's choice is complicated by three additional factors, however. The dolce marking and the embellishment imply a cuyale. Why the leaps of seven? Point to an over.